Hey, it's Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some hidden tools that all baseball players need to be using. These are things that you need to bring to the field with you, you need to have in your bag. Honestly, if you aren't using these tools, then you're at a serious disadvantage. So without further ado, let's just jump into the video. Let me show you these tools. All right, so the very first hidden tool is this right here. This is a foam roller. And if you don't have a foam roller, I promise you this is gonna become your new best friend, all right? What is foam rolling? Foam rolling is a form of self-myofascial release, or SMR, okay? It's basically like rolling around on this guy right here and giving yourself a self-massage. It's awesome, it's really gonna help you uh, prevent injury, it helps you improve your flexibility, improve your range of motion, your blood flow, Flow. It's going to help you recover a lot faster. So this one right here, this is I believe a 36 inch foam roller, but you can buy them half this size, 18 inches. You can buy them uh, maybe even smaller than that. If you can't afford these, but you should be able to afford it, it's, it's maybe you know, 15, 20 bucks at your local sporting goods store. But if that's too much for you, you can actually go and just get a piece of PVC pipe. It doesn't work quite as well. It's a little bit firmer. Uh, you definitely want to get a foam roller or a rumble roller if at all possible. But basically the way this works is you just lay it on the ground and you roll on it and you roll out different body parts. So I like to start with my upper back. You kind of want to stay away from your low back, but start with your upper back. You roll slowly back and forth. You focus on your breathing. You're going to feel a ton of clicks and pops. You can do your back. You can even do your lats. You can do every single part of your leg from your calves to your quads, to your glutes, to your hamstrings. You can do your IT band, which is awesome for baseball players. Um, and so honestly, if you are not using a foam roll, for you know both your prehab and your rehab both before practices before games before training sessions and afterwards I promise you you're leaving results on the table you're putting yourself at more risk for injury so get yourself one of these it's gonna help you with your soft tissue it feels great it helps you recover faster if you had a heavy leg day or a double header something like that and you need to recover the foam roller is gonna be your best friend so pick one of these up this is a hidden tool that not a lot of you know young athletes know about but I promise you it's going to be a game Game changer. All right, so moving on to the next hidden tool. Now we're at the plate. This is a hidden tool for hitters, and a lot of the times it's really, really hidden. But have you ever been watching a big league game on TV and you know when they step out of the batter's box and they're showing the hitter, usually they have their stats underneath them and maybe they're looking down at the third base coach and you see something that's kind of white on their thumb. Well, what that is, is it's called a pro hitter. Again, this is another inexpensive tool. It's probably even cheaper than your foam roller. But what this tool does, and you see a lot of big leaguers using this tool, it's kind of a, a hidden gem that again, not a lot of younger players know about, what this tool does is it helps you not only with when you're hitting against or hitting with a wood bat or an aluminum bat, you know sometimes how you kind of miss hit a ball, maybe a little bit too close to your hands or too close to the end of the bat or it's a cold day and you kind of miss hit the ball and your hands sting. Well, not only does it kind of alleviate that, get rid of that feeling, but that's not even the main purpose, although that's a great benefit. The main purpose is the pro hitter helps you hold the baseball bat out in your fingertips more because the more that you hold the bat, out into your fingertips, not only are you gonna have more barrel control that way, but you're also gonna have a lot more bat speed that way. And so, you know, you can not use a pro hitter and you can just think, all right, hold the bat out in your fingertips, but if you wanna have a hack that helps you do it much easier without even you needing to think about it, grab yourself a pro hitter. It's gonna help you hold the bat out in your fingertips and at the angle that we're looking for, for maximum bat speed and maximum power. So pick up a pro hitter. All right, moving on to the next hidden tool, and that is bands. Bands are a great thing that you can just throw in your bag. Again, they're another inexpensive tool. They're super convenient because you can literally throw them in your bag. They don't take up a whole lot of space. But what bands are gonna do for you is they're really gonna help you strengthen your rotator cuff and the surrounding muscles. And that's what's used in the throwing motion to help decelerate your arm. And it's, the bands are also gonna help you just keep your arms safe and healthy year round. And over time, they're actually gonna help improve your throwing velocity as well. So I would highly recommend recommend picking up a pair of bands. They're really going to help you take your game to the next level. And no matter what position you play, whether you're a pitcher, a position player, you need to have a pair of these in your bag. They're too inexpensive and too great of a tool to avoid. 
This next one is really a hidden gem. It's used by the majority of Division I universities as well as the majority of professional baseball organizations. This is the pocket radar. Now, when I say pocket, I literally mean it. It is pocket size, smaller than my hand. This is their pocket radar ball coach, but this little guy is a radar device that's accurate when you use it properly within plus or minus one mile per hour. So I would highly recommend picking up one of these. This is the most expensive out of all of these tools, but this is the tool that probably can help you the most out of any of these as well, all right? Uh, a lot of times, you know, people think that radar guns are just for pitchers, and they just think, well, I'm not a pitcher, so why do I need a radar gun? Or even a pitcher, they're like, I kind of know how hard I throw my fastball. Why do I need to invest in a radar gun? And what you have to realize is pitching velocity and fastball velocity is really just one component of a device like pocket radar, okay? You can actually track not only pitching velocity, but you can track exit velocity as a hitter. So you can put this little guy, um, you know, preferably behind an L screen and in front of you when you're doing T work, but you can do it from behind as well. And you can actually, here's one of my favorite parts, you can do it by yourself because, you know, I don't know about you, but when I was younger, I didn't always have dad or a friend to come to the field and hit with me. A lot of the times uh, I had to come by myself. And so this actually has a cool mode. It's like a self mode and it comes with a tripod. So you can set this up behind you or in front of you and you can think about, okay, Justin was telling me, you know, I need to do a better job of staying connected. I'm gonna work on that today. I'm gonna see if it actually helps me boost my exit velocity. And you have real tangible evidence because you literally see the numbers. And this, this little guy actually can even call out the numbers as you're you know, hitting the ball off the tee. So it can say 90, 91. It can actually do that. It tracks all of it as well. And for pitchers, you can use this not only just track how hard you can throw your fastball, but how about this? You can track to see how hard you're throwing your off-speed stuff. Are you consistently, you know, whatever you're trying to get, eight to 12 miles an hour below your fastball? Are you consistently doing that? Or sometimes is your change up only a couple miles an hour slower than your fastball? So, so many different uses. I would highly recommend picking up a pocket radar. And last but certainly not least, the very last tool that I think all hitters should pick up is either a blitz ball or a wiffle ball or some hitting discs or just smaller objects that you can use to hit with. Now hear me out, you know, the blitz ball, it's a great invention to, you know, have a ton of fun in your backyard with, you know, mom or dad or brothers and sisters or, you know, your buddies. It's a great way to, you know, just kill a couple hours having a blast playing wiffle ball in your backyard. But there's also some serious training going on when you're using something like that or when you're hitting you know, something as small as a pinto bean or something like that. But I promise you, if you pick up a wiffle ball or a blitz ball and you can literally stand up there and you can hit a ball that you know, starts out five feet behind you and then breaks in the strike zone for a strike, if you can hit that from a blitz ball, then I guarantee you can hit a slider that's coming from a real pitcher in a real game that moves six or eight inches, right? And so these are great tools to help you with your hand-eye coordination and have a lot of fun at the same time. So I would highly recommend, you know, you can, again, you can use them in your garage, your basement, your backyard, whatever. So you don't always have to come to the field to get better, but I'd highly recommend whether it's a blitz ball, whether it's, you know, they used to make these little hitting discs. I'm not sure if they still make those, but what you can actually do is use, uh, you know, an empty, sour cream jar lid and you can throw those have your dad throw them like a frisbee so if he holds it flat and throws it like this it's going to be a flat fastball if he throws it this way with some angle like this it's going to break like a left-handed curveball to a righty and if he does it this way it's going to break like a right-handed curveball or a slider to a righty break right into the strike zone like that so lots of different ways you can get better you just have to be creative with it so that's it, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And really quickly before you go, if you're serious about really truly becoming the best possible player that you can be, I want you to click on this card right up here and grab my free Bat Speed Boosters workout. This workout is filled with Bat Speed specific drills that are not only gonna help you boost your bat speed, but your power as well. So you're hitting more doubles and more home runs, which is what it's all about as a hitter, right? So go ahead and grab that free workout right now, 100% free. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button for me. And last thing, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn your notifications on so you're notified whenever we release a new baseball video every single week. Subscribe, join the UBT family, turn your notifications on. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.